Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this video we will discuss the solid principle for object oriented programming and design. What is the use of solid principle in software design and development? First we will understand the reason why we need solid principle in our software design consideration. Then we will discuss each solid principle in detail with the real world example and coding. Okay, so let's understand the background of solid principles. The solid principles were first introduced by famous computer scientist Serge Robert Martin, also known as Uncle Bob, in his paper in 2000. But a solid acronym was introduced later by Michael Feather. Uncle Bob, that is Sir Robert Martin, also an author of best selling book Clean Code and Clean Architecture, and is one of the participants of Agile Alliance. Therefore, it is not surprised that all these concepts of clean coding, object-oriented architecture and design patterns are somehow connected and complementary with each other. All these concepts and patterns serve the same purpose that is to create understandable, readable and testable code that many developers can collaboratively work on. They explain the reason why we should take solid principle into consideration while designing a software. They explain how solid principle influences to create more maintainable, understandable and flexible software. As our application grow in size, so as complexity, hence solid principle are useful in reducing that comp complexity and maintaining the application. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. All right, let's get started. So let's understand what is solid principle and how does it help us in writing the better code? Eventually, as our application grows in size, so as the complexity, hence we need solid principle to reduce the complexity and to maintain the application. This principle establishes a practice that led to developing software with consideration for maintaining and extending as a pro project grows. Adopting these practices can also contribute to avoid code smell, refactoring the code, and agile or adoptive software development. The solid principle are five principles of object oriented class design. They are set of rules and best practices to follow while designing a class structure. These five principles help us understand the need for certain design patterns and software architecture in general. So I believe that it is a topic that every developer should learn. This principle is an acronym of the five principles which is given below. The single responsibility principle, that is a class should do one thing and therefore it should have only one reason to change. Then open close principle, the class should be open for extension and close to modification. The LISCO substitution principle, the derived or child classes must be substitutable for their base or parent classes. Then the interface aggregation principle means keeping the things separated and larger interfaces should be split into smaller interfaces. The last but not the least, the dependency inversion principle, interface or abstract class should not depend on the child classes. Instead, child classes should depend upon the interfaces or abstract classes. In software development, object-oriented design play a critical role when it comes to writing flexible, scalable, maintainable and reusable code. There are many benefits of using object-oriented design, but every developer should also have the knowledge of solid principle for a good object-oriented design in programming. So the very first question comes to our mind, where to use solid principle? In which particular scenario we can use solid principle? So use solid principle if you want to build a maintainable, scalable, testable and reusable software application. Use solid principle if you are using object-oriented programming language and design. Use solid principles where the code is written and modified by the people, organized into a module and contains internal and external elements. So what are the benefits we get out of solid principles? Some of the major benefits are the goal of solid principle is to reduce code dependencies 
and adding a new feature or changing a part of a code doesn't break the whole build. Using solid principles in object oriented design makes the code easier to understand, manage and maintain the changes. Solid principle help in reducing the tight coupling. Tight coupling means a group of classes are highly dependent on one another, which you should avoid in your code. Your code is considered as a good code when it is loosely coupled classes. Loosely coupled classes minimize the changes in your code, helps in making the code more reusable, maintainable, flexible, and stable. Solid provides a sound design principle applicable to modern programming environments not just and not just to object oriented programming friends let me summarize what we learned in this video today we understood what is solid principle we saw a real example of solid principle we saw a use cases of solid principle and we also discussed the benefits of solid principle we understood where to use in which scenario we can use solid principle so friends let me know if you have already used solid principles in your project or seen a scenario where this principles can be very useful please provide your answer in the comment section of this video in the next video, friends in the next video we will cover single responsibility principle in detail we will learn what is single responsibility principle we will see the usage of single responsibility principle we will see a java code implementation of single responsibility principle we will also understand the benefit of single responsibility principle so stay tuned for the next video on single responsibility principle and do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.